Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Oracle always free policy changes that happened recently. If you are free tier users, you haven't upgraded your plan to pay as you go or other plans, then you may face in this reclamation of idle compute instance policy, which means your virtual instance will be stopped or deleted by Oracle because they won't take the resource back since you are not using that much. This is not a new um, November 15, 2022 that announcement has been released on OCI website but uh, the announcement was disappeared since November 19 until the end of January 2023 this has been officially published with more details about the conditions how they can reclaim your idle computer instance which is if your CPU utilization is less than 10% for 95% of the time also maybe when your network utilization is also less than 10% if you're using A1 shape you also have a memory utilization restriction here less than 10% then you may facing this reclamation policy are all those three rules need to meet at the same time or just one of them there's no details but for me from my experience it seems like you have to meet all of those conditions for regular instance you need to meet those two conditions for a1 shape those three so now let's take a look at my instance so if you look at my list virtual instance you will see from January 20 to January 25 my instance most of the time is less than 10% but my memory utilization is more than 60% I didn't get any email or facing this stopped or reclamation of the idle resources so that's what caused me thinking yes this probably just need to be both conditions has to be meet but anyway policy can be changed and may be wrong uh, in this circumstance so we will need to think about to meet both conditions so that I need to improve my CPU utilization to around 20% at least about 10% so how we can waste our resources to make it never idle some genius has been published this github never idle original version is in Chinese but I have Google translate to translate it into English to not take a look deep look so how we can run this github project into our Linux instance to make our VM instance never idle let's take a look at the effects once you implemented level idle script from this github project I use a January 20th to January 25 as an example to show you how the CPU usage looks like but if I change it to February after I implemented this never idle script then we can take a look how it looks like again so we are gonna start it from February 5th and we're gonna end it on uh, February 10th so you can see I have increased my CPU utilization probably around 10 to 15 percent that's how it looks like after you implement this GitHub project now let's go to step-by-step -step guide to show you how to run a command and how to configure it to run it properly as usual all steps background information has been posted in my blog you will find the link from my this video's description if you scroll down you will see this never idle github project 
a method to keep it not being deleted or reclaimed by Oracle Cloud. If you don't know how to get your free Oracle Cloud VM and how to log in, you can check my videos here and then find out more information about a free tier virtual machine from Oracle, either regular AMD type or ARM type. After you logged in, this is a Ubuntu virtual machine. So if you're using CentOS, the command will be different, but it also shows in my blog post. You can just copy paste most of the time. So we're gonna install two small applications, wget to download the script and the screen, which is a program can put your command to run in the background. So if you have installed both, then that's great. In this case, my Ubuntu version has wget and the screen already. Depending on your VM type is AMD type or ARM type, you may have different command or script to get your script to run, a never idle script. So I'm using AMD type, so here is the command. I copied from a blog post or you can copy it from the GitHub repository page. So I will download this script. It's just a one second and then you should be able to get it. This is never idle script. It's a normal script. We need to change it to make it executable. So chmod 777 never idle. After that, we need to open a new screen session. So that's a new session you will create it. You can give a different name or you can say it's a never idle. So once you create a new screen session, type and enter, then this is looks like a new console in another session. From there, you can start to run a command, never idle script. You can get at least all those scripts from a GitHub page, or you can get it from my blog post page. It's the same. But on my page, they have a more step guide for you to follow, much easier. So here is a command from GitHub page, but it may not fit in your case. For example, you are running a free version. You only get one gig memory. So you wasting two gig here is not a good idea. So we're going to change the command a little bit to run. In the original command, they run this script every two hours. For me, I think one hour is good enough. I don't want to waste my memory, so I remove that part. If you have ARM-based, you may want to adjust this memory waste number from two to four, depending on, or maybe higher, depending on how many memory utilization you are using. Also, for the bandwidth, every four hours, they're gonna waste your bandwidth by running some speed test script. So in this case, I don't want four hours. I want every hour to do the same, but I don't want it at the same time. So I would just put 30, one hour every one hour, 30 minutes to let it run the bandwidth testing. So they will run different time, CPU utilization, waste program, and the network speed testing program will running at different time. So in that case, they were not causing panic for the resources. So after that, you can press enter to evacuate this script. Now you will see this uh, CPU successfully wasted at the least exactly time. When you press enter, then they will run it every an hour. After that, they run right away. They also still running this bandwidth consumption speed test script here. They're gonna pin it. They're gonna do uploading and downloading to different and um, speed test nodes. So we can keep it running. At, at the same time, you can go back to your Oracle Cloud page, Matrix page to see the CPU utilization. It may need a couple 
minutes to reflect the testing result from your level idle command. But eventually, you should be able to get a similar diagram like what I have. Actually, I'm running this one every 30 minutes for the CPU utilization. You need to adjust those parameters for your CPU utilization and uh, for your network bandwidth and the memory utilization. Before I close this video, um, I want to mention one small trick you may need to know, like command to change the session from this never idle session to the normal session is Ctrl A D. In that case, you're going to detach from that never idle session to the regular sessions and the never idle session will be running in the background you can close your SSS sessions safely and do something else other than that you may wondering what is other method we can keep our idle resources not being declaimed by molecule you can use other share script and the look busy program and calculate the pi, all those can be used same as this never idle script to waste the resources to avoid Oracle to reclaim your idle resources. So that's all for today's video. If you like it, give me a thumb up. If you found the interesting thing in my channel, subscribe it to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in my next episode. Thank you.